a bit worried. Dupree could be in trouble as well. One Molotov already being primed. There's Dupree flanking out. Great headshots coming through. Taking down Bolton. Taco, can he do more? Now he's just buying time. In the meantime, Glade has gone down. And again, it's Dupree. He doesn't have many more bullets, but Cold will take him down. So two versus three, still 20 seconds. They have to do something right here, SK. They've been ground to a halt. And now they need to fight their way out. 14 seconds, 13, Sip and Dennis. And it will be Estrada's picking up the pistol here. But SK has bypassed Dupree, and it, it all depends on what information he's passing along, whether he calls for Glaive to rotate over towards A. But I think Glaive has just spotted Taco crossing. Now Dupree surely will have almost a free kill. Molotov gonna force Glaive out, he's not punished. Dupree coming from behind, he gives up his position, and he's blown the opportunity. Cold Zero now pushing up, and he doesn't spot Glaive. Somehow they've made this work, but Taco is gonna book it over towards the A bomb site. He's gonna get a plant, he's gonna have time to reposition, and he's got an M4. Oh, Sip is actually very close by. Is he going to be able to catch him in time? He's just running up with a knife out, trying to get there. Ten seconds here. And that Molotov making his life very tricky. Taco, seven seconds. He's going to go straight for the plant. So they got the money, but he's very low on health. Deagle in the corner, and Sip knows it. He's going to be able to take care of business. In future rounds very, very easily. There's the boost up over the box. They're trying to peer up the smoke, and it's no trade. Sipnix gets two kills. Huge battle to win. Taco. He's got a job to do, but he's forced back into the doorway. Cold Zero finally chimes in. But that's a lot of strength of this offense taken away. But at least Taco managed to do that. He actually managed to keep Sip in main, so Cold could sort of come and sandwich him in from the other side. Because otherwise, I think Sip would have loved to have just fallen back, but they knew that door was open and they couldn't really risk it. Two versus three, plenty of time. Let's see how this goes. And Dupree has just shrunk this map. He's pushed all the way towards T-spawn. There's nowhere else to go. Dennis and Glaive can just play a retake. It could be very quick flanks coming in, but they're gonna give up the plant at the very least. They know they just need to win this round more than anything. And they need to win it with numbers alive. Bomb going down in default, which means Taco and Cold sort of have to stay on the bombs. I can't really fall back and fight from main. What you can do is you plant a bit more of an open position. Now Dennis is starting to creep up. Glaive with a headshot, making life very rough on Taco. He was playing brilliantly on Inferno, but now he's gonna have to step it up big. He's got the AK-47 in hand trapped in the back line and they don't have a molotov to clear him out with so a minuscule chance here gets a headshot on one but they're coming for him and taco he can't get the screen Knock it out the park the only one on the site sip and he gets a headshot on falling regardless that's gonna buy some time and now the rotation is starting to come in for can he get it long range here against the truck not quite connecting yet but he wants more and up on the high ground here sip now more members of Estrada starting to get in dupree goes down taco with a headshot taking down sip Dennis dropping the bomb and now holding on. They almost line up. Can't be getting more. It's just a complete brawl here at the A site. And somehow we're in a two on two. I'm not sure if it could have gone on any other way. Just trading left and right. The bomb is down, but it almost cost Fur his life. Yeah, very close. Down to 20 HP. Ate a lot of damage from the Molotov. That's a big time smoke from Cold Zero, though, to hold them off. How much does he trust that as a wall? They're gonna have to go through one of them, and Fur is waiting on the other side, but he's reloading. He's caught in an awkward time. It's a one versus two for Cold with the AWP, and he needs this kill. If anyone could do it, it's him. Trapped in the back now, they're jumping up. The flick, he almost gets it. Maybe the eco. They just need that one big win. Quick trade coming in, but Kevin, yeah, he's isolated, and Fur will pick him off. Nice headshot. Down into a three-on-three. Three. That's so tricky. Zipnix gets blind is that from that as well. Three players from SK working their way. They've got two smokes. They've got flashbangs. They've got a Molotov, so they have some options. Time is running low. 35 seconds left. There's a shallow smoke. Dennis trying to draw them into Zipnix. They need to check it. Talker's not going to clear it. This needs to be a trade, and it is. Fallen's taking him out. Dennis is going to be the next one up at the corner. But actually, he backs off from that fight. He wants to wait for his teammate. Definitely a smart move. There's the flashbang in and four. Oh no! The bomb plan is cancelled and from trying to tap away long range, but he's almost out of time. He has to do it all on his own. Goes for a bit of a shoulder peak. Nine seconds, eight seconds. It's gonna have to be now or never. The spray comes in, but Dennis saving the kid day again. Double kill for him. Something that we've seen from the Polish team time and again, and it's very effective. Dupree does go down to fallen early on, but Kierbius managed to infiltrate the lineup. Is right in front, but he doesn't know it. Can he get the double? They're right in front, but he actually doesn't see the second player. One more step to the right, and he would have known. Bolt with an incredible reaction time. Taking down Kierbu. Still a four on three. SK, they hold the line. 
Dennis here all alone. Such a tough position to be solo in, but he's got the headshot. He hasn't even taken any damage. That's beautiful. I think they know where Cold Zero is now as well. Molotov going to try and force him out of position. Dennis is aggressive, and he finds it. SK Gaming left with questions in this, and Taco coming out of door. He's got to find something, but he's taking damage, and he's just eating flashbangs. This is perfect. From they usually struggle with T-Side, and I always felt like they, they weren't quite that good on, this, on the CT side. So something has changed. This time, Dupree goes down, a bit of a refrag, and oh, the late monitor up there, a little bit of fire damage onto Taco's enough. Yeah, Dupree's gonna be fine with that. If you're gonna sacrifice two players running through fire, Zipnix taking liberties in A main, and SK has not been able to shut him down. That's the bomb as well. Cold Zero with an impressive spray is trying to even things up, but him and Bolts are separated. And Astralis has so much control on KRB again on the extremity. SK is just getting beat up, and you don't often see them get dominated to this level. This is the early Molotov there on the boost. Astralis wanting to control that, and SK making their way for the smoke, catching Sip off guard. Tries to put out a Molotov defensively, but he's getting overrun. Taco takes him down, running gun with the Deagle. Dennis with one in return. Kirby's going to be dropped next in line. It's looking better. SK with a quick bomb plant here in a four versus three. Even if Bolts and Fallen are low on health, it's a headshot from Fallen. Taking down Dupree, brilliant play. And it's cold to close out. Dennis leaving Glaive alone in a one on three. This is the key, Moses. The speed catching Astralis. It's those pistols swarming into the site, getting out of the smoke and the mobility that it's provided. Glaive, surely not as he comes in. Everything's gone right for Astralis so far, but this is too much to ask for. SK Gaming. Dropping the bomb, walking in close, and that's for winning a huge fight. That's all, most all they need now. Just Dennis left on the side, jumping their way through. Fallen's down there. He gets a shot on Dennis. Right through the edge of the railing. Kirby and Glaive, two versus five. It's time to back it off here. SK Gaming. So close now. Are they gonna hunt for the weapons, Moses? Almost looking the wrong way. They're gonna take a fight again. And Fur winning on the other side of the map to take down Kirby. Glaive also falls at the end over at B. So Sip and Dennis left. And right now it's just all going SK's way. Taco picking up Sip. What an incredible turnaround it is. Yeah, Astralis needs to stop the bleeding. At this point, it's great that your players still have confidence to make these plays, but. You, you've got to stop it now that SK has kind of read what's coming and just putting up a phenomenal fight. Yeah, they've done, a, they've done it again, it seems. Being down on their luck and then they're right back in the lead. Or at least winning a couple of rounds in a row here. Fur will be going down, but they take leave with them. 9-4. A lot can change, and when you get to that second half pistol, that's where it really starts to count. Dupree, Kierbu, Sip. Three versus four here, and a Sip going down. Again, trying for that aiming aggression and Fallen, he's, he's dialed in now. He knows what's coming. Yeah, Glaive as well was picked off doing the exact same thing as last round. Bolts was ready for it. Perhaps Glaive thinks because perhaps he thought that Bolts just would never expect it to happen twice in a row. Either way, as you said, Astralis has been figured out on this defensive side of things and these past, past two rounds have been flat. Cold Zero is going to take advantage of all the space he has. And SK can just be oh so patient. Taco is going to find Dupree. Hey, too being the champions, but if SK do it, who knows what can happen. There's the flash, the quick jump in, Kirby right on it. Seeing if he can catch Fur in the back line, headshot coming out from Fur, looking for more, almost out of bullets, it's another headshot coming in, and he can't get the last one. Dupree and Dennis finally with a return. Now it's a three on three, and the bomb is being planted down in front, charging on, Fallen gets the shot, and a second headshot as well, SK, they're doing it, Fallen with a triple, and SK Gaming. Oh no, this could be an absolute disaster. Taco doing his best and taking down Dupree in the vents and looking for a bit more. That smoke gonna block him off and Dennis with the kill. Now it's a three on four. Not like this, SK Gaming. They're flashing their way through the smoke right into Dennis' face, but they just don't have the firepower. Well, they need if, more kills. Even if they get through the smoke, there's nowhere for them to hide. There's nowhere for them to recover and try and double up. Kirby's not planning yet. The other two players are very aware. All from one misstep from Fallen. Here's Bolts with the Farmers trying to do something. Waiting for a peek, but the mistake is not coming from the Astrala side. Time's gonna start running low on this bomb. It's gonna have to be SK to press the issue, but how much do they want? Do they actually want to go for this at the moment? Burr with the MP9 is gonna lead the way. How do you do this with the weaponry and they just can't do it? Sip will take down Fur. 
from Arsene. Some sort of miracle. It's not going to be this time. Bomb is down and now three on three. Missing the chance. Now they're waiting. Astralis, they don't want to give him anything here. Maybe the only one that can open this up is Bolts coming through the vent. Jumping down, in fact, in the middle of the side is fallen. What kind of maniac play is this? And seeing the shoulder taking down Kier, but they didn't see it coming and fallen. Turning around. Just runs... This helps Cold Zero get into better positions to find the kills. Fur's gonna rotate back. And here it comes. Dupree up on the rail, and he's gonna take out Taco, but I he knows he knows there's a second player, but it doesn't matter. Fur closes him out, and Glaive now in a one-on-two transfers over. Not able to get it. It's gonna be a close defuse, though. I don't know if Cold Zero's got it. Oh my god. Oh my god. They they die. Die. Would have been there. Taco, this is dangerous as well. They've spotted him out. He's also spotted the heavy nose. It's a B rush. Expect the rotation. Cold Zero under pressure. Now that he's missed shots, they've gained ground. Taco's got a lift, but the Molotov forces his hand. Smoke to try and stay alive, but there's not a whole lot of options for him. The bomb is going to get planted. All of SK is here, but they need kills quick. Oh my god, they're inside the smoke trying to knife him. Sick Nick stabbing Taco. Oh my god. What's happening in this grand finals? Dennis is actually gonna lurk. He's gonna be a passive lurk now. He chooses to wrap around. Zipmix the first one out. Flashbangs, there's Fallen. There's Fur chiming in. They have nothing to clear him out. Dennis coming up highway. He's done it. Two kills. He's opened things up, but he needs more. And Bolts hold strong. 25 seconds, Dupree moving up. Bolts. He's got a grenade in hand. Dupree might have caught the perfect timing. Oh no, he doesn't get the headshot turning around for it. The spray is in. And now he wants to look back first, shooting him. And he's gonna be down. Glaive is almost out of the round. Kirby. He might have to do this all on his own. It comes down to this. 14-11 SK. They might be right back in the game if they can pick this up. A bomb ticking away, but two versus three. And SK so patient on the retake. One flashbang going in. KB unaffected. He wants that first kill. Make it a 2-1-2. Two -two. Fallen is right in front. He's going to see the shadow, but what a retake. Fur coming in. It all matters. When is this pounce going to come in from KB? This is the huge play. Flashbang is in. Taco's gonna lead the way. This is a big kill. Fallen's not ready for it. caribbean has got it. That's huge for Astralis. They follow it up, but Taco can't win. Be victorious. Fallen playing way back on the site now. Easy kill on Dupree. Another couple there's Fallen doing it again. The triple and just Sip left. Oh my god. It's gonna be overtime here. One versus five for Sip. He's completely isolated. They have the bomb. They've got everything. SK Gaming. What does it take to stop this team? How do you handle that? Fallen showing his quality at the end. Zipnix with nothing to do here. They had a chance. Stuck in the door now. Bomb is down, and it's just a matter of time for Zipnix. He's got a challenge at some point, and he's not going to be ready for it. It's overtime. $1,000 and max rounds three for overtime rules. Economy plays a big part. Zipnix, he gets legged, but he's gonna keep up the fight. Cold Zero finds him anyways with the repeat. That's all a distraction, though. It's a ruse. Fallen comes through the smoke, and he gets taken down. Astralis pressing the issue over at the A site. Dennis gains ground, but he can't find the kill. And it's Bolts now fighting in the flames. This is just a completely chaotic round. It looks like it's SK coming out on top, even if Kirby is hitting some great headshots. You have to assume it's not gonna be enough. One grenade here would... Probably do the trick, and there it is, Cold Zero with the absolute Kobe there taking down Kirby. So winning the first round in overtime, locking Sipnix in for a moment. Kirby checking it, but now down towards the forklift. Taco bullet in the face right away. Fur has to come up big, but he's going to go down. The Molotov is in. Bolts in the middle of all the smoke. He has to do more. He gets one, but not enough. Kirby takes him down, and now Cold and Fallen can't hold on to the site. Cold Zero. One versus three. For the Brazilian side, I don't know what kind of risk they're taking, but if this pays off, it's just pure genius. And there's the kill. Kirby going down. Bolts with the opening. SK coming in with a big hit on the A side. Dupree is down as well. Sip with a double spray down. Glaive helping out. The reload is in. Four seconds. There's the spray, and Bolts holds the line. Oh, bomb is planted, and now Glaive in a one versus two, trying to get the retake in. If he could have got that kill, that would have been the round. That is incredible. Glaive has got to be a hero here. He knows where one is, but it's the shot from Fallen that gets it. Trying to get the angle and sit reoccupying this position at the forklift. They're all around. Dupree getting one. He misses the kill, and this just might be it. Ladies and gentlemen, Glaive at a one versus four here. SK Gaming down 9-0 in the first half of this grand finals, and just like that.
they bring it back. A supreme team, indestructible, and Glaive is gonna go down. SK Gaming, your grand final.